and uh, then you will learn something new. Okay, so a little entertainment. Um, here are some projects that were done uh, in the similar course in previous years, and I'm not showing the all of them were resulted in the scientific papers, so the seeds of research projects in class were serving as the um, starting point for big research paper. So here is similar to what one of the attendees of this class presented yesterday. So it's photo-induced reaction dynamics for decomposition. Here it's not self-exploding molecule. It is induced decomposition and fragmentation of metal organic complexes in order to chemical vapor deposition applications. So one can see that in the excited state molecular dynamics, one uh, has a sequence of bond-breaking, bond-formation events, and uh, there is a development of several uh, products, some of which look uh, exotic. So there is a hydrogen elimination, acetylene elimination, and a uh, number of products is bigger than number of reactants. Um, I'm just entertaining you. It is neither me, <laughs> nor students from previous year class. It is just an um, image from a uh, uh, video from YouTube. But it was a spark for doing one of the projects for um, unstable molecule approaching catalyst and going through decomposition reaction. So this is one of the projects uh, completed in uh, previous years, when hydrogen peroxides approaching silver cluster and decompose on the O2 and uh, H2O. So it is, uh, even without electronic configuration, just molecular dynamics of a reaction. I don't know how to make the sound less loud. Uh, yeah. Did you turn it off on the monitor? No, then it will disable our conversations. So pre um, prepare your earplugs if you do not like uh, sounds. So it is another project also done as a part of the similar course. Uh, so here is the setup was um, the metal catalyst prepared in active configuration with uh, additional negative charge communicated to the to this lead, to this electrode. And then protons are approaching this metal catalyst, and upon they come into the contact with the surface, they are getting charge transfer, they are reduced, and they combine into molecular hydrogen. Prototypical modeling of hydrogen production. And it is not very challenging computationally, so if uh, some same sort of calculations is very reasonable and practical to do in the remaining couple of weeks of the course. So we started with protons and ended with uh, molecular hydrogen, which uh, so proton reduction through decomposition. And here is an example of um, scattering of reactant from the substrate or from um, surface um, where the molecular beam here is represented by one molecule of steam, one molecule of water is high kinetic energy and it does approach the silicon surface and then uh, there will be a chemical reaction. bond breaking in the surface layer and uh, to break uh, oxygen hydrogen bond and, uh, so for each the moment. And then this 
surface side. So there is a, well, it is a serious possible way of hydrogen production, and it is illustration of uh, water contaminating silicon, which upon hydroxyl it gets some states in the gap and is not good for electronics. Uh, one of the projects, if you, your models of your interest are very big, if you're dealing with biologic, biology related molecules, uh, it could be disabled for electronic structure, but you still can investigate some properties in the force field molecular dynamics range. So uh, here there was a... I don't know how... You can just... a... Uh, very big molecule, container, filled with gas. And if the temperature is low enough, it can hold very high pressure. Just molecular container holds gas. But if temperature is raised a little, then uh, gas starts uh, diffusing through pores and uh, go away. So it is temperature activated uh, container. Uh, so close your ears. OK. <laughs> it was going away. And another, good, good. <laughs> and uh, another application, if you are characterizing, if you are in experimental track and you're characterizing your materials, your molecules, by spectroscopical tools, um, typically we do CW spectroscopy because it is so less expensive. But sometimes, the dynamics of reactions need to be followed in the time result regime. And there is a way to address this time evolution of spectral signal in time. Here is something related to time resolved photoluminescence or stimulated uh, emission of the excited state. So upon excitation of uh, material at the bluish wavelength, as time passes by, it relaxes to lower um, transition energy. but as it goes dynamically, it is able to emit at different wavelengths what one can follow. So it's going from blue to red. Then it, uh, it going stuck on the lowest available excitation, stays there long enough until it emits everything. So, and then one also can estimate the lifetime of the luminescence. Projects like this are possible, but uh, this one probably is mostly numerically demanding, while others, molecular dynamics, are very doable, very quick. Okay. I hope you got some uh, entertainment and relaxation. Now, let's go to the mode of um, collecting the handouts. You may collect them for the future, or you can throw them away right after.